When twins share a single placenta, it is called a monochorionic twin pregnancy. This occurs when connections form between the twins' blood vessels in the placenta, allowing blood to transfer from one twin to the other. When this connection becomes unbalanced, a condition can develop where one twin will receive too much blood and one too little. This is called twin-to-twin transfusion syndrome, or TTTS. The donor twin often has growth restriction and decreased urinary output, leading to a below-average level of amniotic fluid. The recipient twin is usually physically larger and can often have heart and blood pressure problems and an increased urinary output due to the increased blood flow. This twin has above-average levels of amniotic fluid. Their condition will be monitored through ultrasound scans and patients will be referred to a specialist fetal medicine unit when necessary. Mothers should attend hospital if there is a sudden growth in the size of their stomach, as this might be a sign that one twin is being overloaded with amniotic fluid. Not all women with TTTS develop complications, but in severe cases, there is a high risk of either the donor or recipient or both of the babies dying. Laser therapy is a possible form of treatment. The aim is to try and save one or both of the babies by separating the connections in the placenta. Mothers are given local anaesthetic and a tiny camera known as a fetoscope is inserted into the womb. The connecting blood vessels in the placenta are identified through the camera and sealed using a laser. At the same time, excess amniotic fluid is removed to relieve pressure on each baby. The current method is often effective, but vessels deeper than the surface of the placenta cannot be seen by the doctor. This means the imbalance can return, so the condition needs to be closely monitored until birth. To overcome these problems, a flexible fetoscope is being developed, with cameras that use the latest medical imaging technology, enabling the surgeon to see more clearly. As with any surgery, fetal surgery carries risk. In fetal surgery, the main risks are rupture of the membranes and preterm birth. Your clinician will discuss the specific risks of your procedure with you further.